Hey guys, Lucas here from Victor Surplus, and today we're going to talk about the current shirt of truth in the U.S. Army. All right, so we got here is the current issue U.S. Army combat shirt. Um, so this has some good improvements over the first generation or the early generation, however you want to call it, uh, combat shirt, and a little bit of change up, a little more modern kind of style up with what's you know kind of out there with the higher end brands. So. Um, biggest changes that you can see over the first gen, and one of the best changes to me, is the collar now is kind of a quarter zip. So instead of that turtleneck, you can unzip it, breathe a little better, and you can fold the collar down. And if you want to wear it up, you can wear it up just fine. The material changed slightly. Um, it's a little more shirt-like, jersey material to me feeling. It's still flame resistant, so that's nice. got the protective uh, quality of it. And then otherwise, you can see it's not all shirt body in the center. They come down a little bit with the camo material because um, you don't necessarily need all that uh, breathability right there, especially with the quarter zip. You're going to have to reinforce it somehow. Um, so yeah, so you got still got a breathable, more breathable area right here where your chest is, and then down in the stomach and the back, it's this more like knitted material. So you're going to breathe just fine. And it is a little longer in cut, so you can tuck it in just fine or wear it out and get that airflow. Along the sleeves, just the same as the uh, early generation ones, you have large IR or large patch field on your left sleeve, so you can put your unit patches, whatever need be, and you got two pin slots for pins, adjustable cuff, and on the back, they kept the uh, kind of basketball, you know, rubberized dot textured elbow, elbow reinforcement, so you get that little extra grip on when you're going to the prone. Is it 100% needed? Probably not, but it does reinforce the elbows. On the other side, same kind of pocket where it's zippered as on the left sleeve, and then you have uh, just squared off patches for a flag, your rank, and a name tape. And then again, just wool, just wool cuffs. So overall, it's an improvement over the first generation, but um, you know, it's a pretty good combat shirt for what it is for being issued. And then you know, it's protective and it's gonna wear well and you know, have a pretty long life overall. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed this video. It's definitely an improvement over the first generation or early generation combat shirts, one in the army. Um, these aren't too bad. Again, if you're looking for anything to wear just for, you're working outside a lot in the hot, you're wearing kit a lot, and uh, you need a good combat shirt that's protective, this is a go-to. So make sure you head over to VitureTurples.com, pick one up, plus all the gear you can wear with it. Make sure while you're there to sign up for our email, so twice a week you can find out all of our latest and greatest gear.